Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really quick Grim Reaper that's perfect for line work. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks here in Derbyshire in the UK. You're going to need a 160 and inflate most of the way. So I've left just a very tiny tip and then I'm just letting a little bit of air out just to soften that balloon and then tie, okay? And I want you to make two loops at about three fingers or so. So just twist a loop and then pass that neck and nozzle through. So that's just going to stop that unraveling. And then make another loop to match, okay? And I like to take hold of that knot and nozzle and just wrap that through, okay? So that's what you've got. Next, I'm using one of the white um, skull faces from Qualitex. If you don't have this balloon, don't worry, just use a plain white five inch round and then you can draw a face on the balloon using a Sharpie felt pen, permanent pen, okay? So don't worry if you don't have this exact balloon. Inflate this all the way. And then I just like to let a little bit of air out because I prefer this to have quite a nice round shape and then just tie, okay? Take your face print and just wrap that into the next there, into those two loops, okie dokie. Next, take your 160 and just give it a stretch just to soften it a little bit, okay? And position it so that it's coming over the side of one of those loops. Encircle the head with that 160 and then wrap it all together. Okay? Just wrap everything together. that's what you've got. Again, just give everything a little squeeze and a stretch. And then with what you've got left, fold it approximately in half and take hold of the ends here and just want, you just want to uh, candy cane this, so just twist it together and just start to spiral those two sides together. Okay, and then when you get to the end, you're probably just going to have a little bit left. So you do want a little bubble here. So just twist off there. You're twisting everything into that neck. And then take that little bubble around those two loops and position the bubble in the back. Okay, so we're just going to arrange everything because things do move around. They certainly do when I make making things. And be sure to check out my Halloween series. So I've got a couple of Halloween series. Uh, one very much based on uh, balloon animals and uh, the other one is around Halloween centerpieces. Okay, so remember to pop the like button and I'll see you again in the next video. How to make a really quick grim... 